horror on the big screen tonight in Beverly Hills. The Simon Wiesenthal Center hosting a special screening of videos shot during the Hamas terror attack last month. Who would want to see this, though, and why? Our Lori Perez went there to find out. We were not allowed into the screening and we weren't given a copy of what they saw. We spoke with a guest who told us the crowd was made up of mostly celebrities and other influential people who were invited to see with their own eyes some of what happened on October 7th. They were completely unarmed. They had no weapons on them. They were hiding. They were scared. Stunned guests left the Museum of Tolerance describing for us what they had just watched. They were terrified for their lives. and. These Hamas terrorists were just ganging up on them, like a lot of them. They had no way out. 47 minutes of graphic footage discovered and then shared by the Israeli military, reportedly taken by Hamas members themselves as they began the attacks on Israel. Was it difficult for you to watch? Yeah. I, I couldn't watch all of it either. It's, it's difficult. The showing called bearing witness to the October 7th massacre. And I'm actually really scared to watch it. Actor Mark Feuerstein was among the guests. Before the somber screening, I asked him why he felt compelled to attend. I will carry it with me to pass that story on to the next generation and the next generation. We say Lador Vador from generation to generation and people should know. And I can't know exactly what it was unless I watch it. As demonstrators faced off outside, intense security surrounded the event. Guards checked cars for explosives. LAPD circled the facility. Reportedly organized by actor and former Israeli soldier Gold Gadot were told the audience was mostly celebrities and other influencers who might use their platforms to build support for Israel. We need to fight against terrorism. And in order to see it, in order to fight it, you have to see it and believe it and feel it. In war, soldiers fight with, so with soldiers. It's fine. But when people are going into houses only in order to kill families, kill innocent civilians, that's an evil that have no definition. We're told there might be other screenings of the footage here in L.A., but the details have not yet been confirmed. In Pico Robertson, I'm Lori Perez, KCAL News.